barefoot shoes. With their wide toe boxes and thin soles, these shoes allow your foot to move as God designed them to, while still giving you protection so that you don't slice them wide open. I've spent hours learning about these shoes and their benefits, how they allow your foot to naturally cushion itself and avoid knee pain and hip pain and back pain and all sorts of different pains that are caused by modern footwear and their disadvantages of the potential for causing damage to your foot while transitioning to them since they are so completely different from modern shoes. But at some point you have to experience it for yourself. So I bought a pair, a cheap pair. And they arrived a few days later, courtesy of Amazon. First glance, these shoes seem fairly normal, other than the laces being threaded kind of backwards at the top, which makes them very difficult to tighten, so I fixed that real quick. But other than that, normal. Which is exactly what I'm looking for. That's partially why I bought these of all the cheap barefoot shoes out there. I'm not a complete barefoot shoe convert as of yet, so having something that is normal and doesn't scream new or different is exactly what I'm looking for. They're so normal, in fact, that my mom wanted to try them on. They're a nice mix between casual and dressy. She's had foot surgery on one of her feet, and that makes it so that a lot of normal shoes are too tight on her on the ball of her foot and creates pressure in an uncomfortable way. So the wide toe backs of these barefoot shoes is actually perfect for her. They're com so comfortable, in fact, she already ordered a pair for herself. So what do I, a person who's never worn barefoot shoes before, think about these shoes? First impressions after I fix the laces of these shoes are they're pretty standard shoes. They have a stiff knit fabric, which probably isn't ideal for current weather, but I almost guaranteed will wear them anyway throughout the winter and when it's wet and all that stuff. But aside from not being waterproof, it does still, still feel like it'll be fairly durable. These shoes do come with insoles. They aren't technically barefoot shoes if you leave that in. I am leaving that in since without the insole in there, the shoe feels massive on my foot and you can just like slide around in it. I can tighten up the laces enough for it to feel more secure, but then the fabric does start buckling near the toe box, which isn't ideal, but they're cheap shoes. What do you expect? As far as using them, I wore them on a one mile walk yesterday and followed that up with a one mile run. For the walk, it felt pretty normal. It had decent grip on the snowy iciness. The snow also sort of adds a cushion, so it felt more normal. It kind of hid the fact that these were barefoot shoes. On dry pavement, they did feel a little bit weird. As far as the one mile run, about a third of the way in, I had some pretty major back pain, which I've never actually experienced during a run. It is possible that this is just because I haven't run in two weeks. And I've recently been wearing some boots to work and those have a significant heel raise. I did notice some general body discomfort, which could be caused by the shoes or could just be me getting old. It happens. Also, it was very icy in some spots, which made me run more stiffly instead of relaxing, which very possibly made me run in a weird way and therefore caused back pain. After that happened, it was just for a few seconds. I think I did relax a bit and it went smoothly for the rest of the run. I also wore these shoes to work after that. They felt weird. This is partially because of the flat soles, but also I had the distinct thought that these felt like slippers. And I think that's mainly because they don't fit my foot super well. These were a wide, according to the Amazon listing, which I don't know how much to even believe that. But I've never ordered wide shoes or worn wide shoes or needed narrow shoes either. Just pretty average foot, I think. But it's possible that the wide is significantly wider and that is causing these issues. They sort of like flopped on the pavement too. According to the research that I did, I didn't do a ton of research into the Wittens in particular, but the wide shoes are the ones with the wider toe box. I haven't bought a set of normal shoes from them, so I don't know if that's actually true. But if that's the case, then there is possibly not a normal width shoe that has that wide toe box. But anyway, this is just after one day, my first thoughts and impressions. If I have an update, I will put one right here, so you can check that out. If that is not a thing right now, I will have YouTube recommend you a lovely video. It is very interesting, I'm sure. Check it out.